morning. The time now is 8:27. We do have some breaking news. We have learned that Spencer Stone, one of the hometown heroes who stopped a terrorist attack on a French train, was stabbed multiple times overnight, leaving a bar in Sacramento. Let's take it right out to KCRA3's Brian Hickey's live in Midtown now with more. And Deirdre, the U.S. Air Force has confirmed that information that Stone was stabbed here in Sacramento around 12:45 early this morning, and we can tell you that uh, at 12:45 here on K Street at 21st Street, Sacramento police were out here investigating a stabbing at this spot right here, uh, just down from Lavender Heights near the corner of 21st and K Street. And uh, that crime scene wrapping up around 5:45 this morning. Officers told me at the time of that uh, scene that they were treating this as a homicide. The victim of this stabbing had been stabbed multiple times in the torso and was taken to an area hospital and was listed in critical condition. And they weren't sure that that uh, victim was going to survive that stabbing. They later learned from the hospital now that that victim is expected to survive, is in critical condition. What we're working to confirm now is whether or not that victim here at the K Street stabbing is in fact Spencer Stone, who was stabbed in Sacramento last night, according to the Air Force. And again, uh, an ongoing investigation here along K Street. But what I can tell you about the crime scene that was set up here at K Street. It was extensive. It covered several blocks here along K Street, had this entire area shut down, including back alleys. An abnormally large crime scene, given the crime that uh, the Sacramento police were reporting to us. So at this point, we are working to connect those two dots on if, in fact, this is the place where Spencer Stone was stabbed, one of the hometown heroes that thwarted that French train attack, uh, whether or not he was the victim here at this stabbing near the corner of 21st and K Street. We're still digging, trying to get more information on this, you can tune into KQCA My 58 KCRA 3 News over on 58. Coming up next.